Here I'm going to provide just a brief overview of four different types of speciation. So this is kind of the quick general overview, a good way to kind of go back and review. Um, allopatric, uh, peripatric, parapatric, and sympatric speciations. So we have the quick, easy definitions here, and we'll provide you with some visuals to help uh, allow you to understand these a little bit better, which will help you describe certain situations. So let's start with the first one, allopatric speciation. This is a result of a geographic isolation or a geographic barrier that results in complete reproductive isolation and creates no gene flow. So we have this uh, very uh, predominant physical um, structure. Could be a geographical isolation, could be a mountain range, for example, causing reproductive isolation, causing different species. In this case, because of no gene flow crossing between these, we have the green and blue species developing completely separate from one another with no gene flow interacting between those two. Then we have the parapatric speciation. This is where geographic isolation results in reproductive isolation of only peripheral populations, which does result in isolated gene flow. So here we have a subset of this population that's then kind of separated out, and we see that's developing its own with isolated uh, gene flow to the original population. So this geographic isolation occurs only for these kind of peripheral populations. It's kind of broke off. Um, and here we see development of the blue and the green species. Moving on, we have a parapatric speciation, which is a result of geographic isolation resulting in partial reproductive isolation, which results in limited gene flow. So we see the original population is driven um, across kind of combination. We see a gradient almost developing. We see favoritism here for the blue genes and here for the green. And we have this limited gene flow to result in our two different um, species here, the blue and the green. Lastly here we have this, uh, sympatric speciation, which is genetic overlap results in no reproductive isolation, which does result in gene flow. So we have our original population, we have our population within a population. And as a result, gene flow is easily able to happen uh, with no reproductive isolation. So we can get the development of these species, but this population originated within the original, and there is gene flow because there is overlap that is occurring between these two different species. Hopefully that gives you just a quick general rundown of speciation and allow you to explain what may occur in certain situations.